So let me start with the story. I'm pretty sure that pretty much everyone who's watching this video must have kept a new year resolution last year and some of you must have been able to follow them and some of you might not have been able to follow some of them. So many of us keep goals like hitting the gym or getting a six pack app or exercising in the morning or eating better food or studying better but eventually we end up failing one or more of them and, and some people even end up failing all of them. And today we're going to talk about how to set a good goal for 2020 and how to set ourselves with a set of targets which we can put throughout the year so that we can finally achieve our goals. So I'll first tell you about my goals for 2019 and how I plan to achieve them, how I progressed along them and then I'll tell you what mistakes I did which I can avoid in 2020 and hopefully you can uh, have some takeaways from that as well. So let me first tell you about my new resolutions, what they were for the last year and whether I was able to achieve them or not. And from that information, I want to derive certain principles, I want to derive certain rules which you can follow and certain observations which I observed in my own life, which you can apply to your life as well and make your new year resolutions better. So one of my new year resolutions for last year was to limit my social media usage and I think it's a pretty common uh, new year resolution for everyone. Like we put a lot of emphasis on uh, social apps these days, especially in the last 4-5 years and we end up spending a lot of our time on, that, on those apps. And I think it's really killing off a lot of productivity and a lot of useful time for all of us, which is why I kept that goal. And speaking of how much I achieved it, I would say, yeah, it was pretty decent growth in that area. Like I have pretty much stopped using Facebook. I have started using Twitter, but Twitter is more of a very useful social platform instead of being a distraction. I have reduced my Instagram usage quite a bit and uh, YouTube has been, YouTube is uh, one of my areas. It, it is a part of my job. So I have to do it. Uh, so I think that front was pretty much focused on, but I still think that there's a lot of improvement uh, scope in that. Uh, the second new resolution which I kept for the last year was to exercise more and eat better. And I think again, it's a very common one. And this one had a fair bit of success as well. Like in my first semester of this year, like uh, you can say from January to let's say May, this resolution was pretty much followed. And I used to exercise daily, go to, the, go to a temple in my, uh, college every day in the morning at 6, exercise and run all the way from my hostel to there and uh, eat a lot better food than what I used to in 2018. And this one turned out pretty fine in the first half but in the second half I circled back to my habits and I started consuming bad food like pizzas and burgers and uh, cold drinks and, and all, all those kind of stuff. Uh, and I almost stopped my exercise routine as well, like it became very infrequent and very irregular. So I would say this one had a bit of success, but probably has a scope of improvement as well. Speaking of my third resolution for the last year, it was to read as many books as I could. And the bad thing about this was that I did not set a number. I read around 15 books last year, which is pretty okay. It is more than a book per month, but I think that I can do much, much better than that. So let us now analyze what exactly went wrong with our resolutions. And you can do the same analysis for yourself as well. You can take out a list of uh, your resolutions, which you made last year. And you can write it down on a paper what went wrong. Uh, so speaking of myself, I would say that my first resolution, which was to limit my social media usage, was a bit on and off throughout the year uh, because of various reasons. So first of all, it's not easy to directly quit your social media usage if you are someone like me because most of my uh, work, which I do, is online and it involves uh, it involves YouTube and Quora and blogging and Acad Boost and all of that, which are all internet things. And it's simply not possible for me to quit them all together because if I quit them, then Acad Boost is destroyed. And so it's not possible, like it's a part of my job. So now I would have to devise some other ways. So I think the part where I did pretty well was to mute the apps, to delete them in some point and to, use, and to really restrict the usage of those uh, apps which were not really useful to me. For example, almost none of my traffic comes from Facebook. So I altogether deleted it. Like it, the account is still there, but I don't use it anymore. So I think one good way to approach the resolution if you have a similar resolution is to cut down things which you can absolutely cut down okay so let's say if you are doing uh, weight if, if you if your promise involves losing weight then it's not possible for you to be a very lethargic loser in the last 24 hours and then you suddenly start hitting the same six hours a day it's not simply possible right so you can start small you can start by cutting down things which you absolutely can and which are under your control for example Eating less of ice cream is a definitely good goal to pursue or restricting it to once a week is a pretty good damn goal because it's really achievable and it's not really hard on you. And I think this is the reason why my first 
uh, resolution worked out pretty well that I set some very very uh, good measures to measure my performance I downloaded an app called Yorar which can help you track your social usage and I set some very very quantitative deadlines to myself and I really cut off some of the portions of the usage now Facebook contributes to less than 10% of my time back in 2019 or back in 2018 but now it's really cut off so 10% has been reduced which is a drastic amount for one year Speaking of my second resolution, which was to exercise and eat better, it was going pretty well in the first half of the year, but it got bad in the last half of the year. So I think the major takeaway here is to be really consistent and the way to do that is to uh, maybe write down something or to really have a written down schedule for yourself. And one thing which I was really struggling with was to write down my goals in a paper and follow them strictly. For example, if you write down that I have to eat only one fast food item in a week, then it's a much more stronger proposition than just saying that I would not eat fast food. Right? So I think writing down your goal helps and I think which is why this goal failed in 2019. I should have probably written it down somewhere. I can do it this year and I will do it this year. Speaking of my third goal which was to read more books, I would say that the reason why I didn't read many books was because I didn't quantify the number of books I wanted to read. Like I said, I would read more books. So what is more books? Is it 10 books? Is it 20 books? Is it 50 books a year? I didn't write that down. So last year I read roughly around 15 books. So I have set the target for this year to be 25 books. That is roughly a book every two weeks. I think it's a pretty achievable goal because I managed to finish a book in one week if I'm adamant. And I definitely finish a book in a month, even if I'm reading very passively. So I think it's a pretty good goal to set to uh, read 25 books a year. So those are my new year resolutions. So I'm going to copy paste those exact same resolution this year because I have not really achieved them. So my first resolution would be to limit my social usage to much less, maybe one less than one hour of phone usage every day. Uh, then my second usage would be to exercise daily, go on a walk daily, do some form of weight lifting or exercising every day, uh, or at least uh, whenever I get time in every week. And the third goal would definitely be to read 25 books. So I think that the key of achieving one's new year goals are to really write them down. And I'm not talking of a WhatsApp message or on a Google Doc or something, but I'm talking of writing them down physically on a piece of paper and pasting it at a place where you can see it daily. I think the second important thing here is to really set a achievable goal. Like you cannot set something like I am a fat, like 300 kg student and I will become a six pack app student in the one year uh, next following me. I think that's a pretty too daunting goal. I mean, it is good to dream, but you cannot really set goals which are not realistic, right? So you have to be a bit realistic about your goals. And I think setting a monthly or weekly target really helps a lot. I would like to measure my performance on social media using an app and try to cut it down 10 minutes every day starting today. For exercising, I would like to fix at least a few hours, maybe three hours or four hours every week. And I have to exercise for that amount every week, no matter what. And if I don't, then I have to punish myself in some way. For the third resolution, I've decided that I would read at least two books every month. Because if I do that, then I would definitely read, reach my goal of uh, 25 books by the year end of year 2020. I hope this video helped you get a better understanding of New Year resolutions and why you're failing to achieve them or why you're succeeding at achieving them if you are. And it's great if that's the case. So don't forget to tell me about your new year resolutions in the comments. Don't forget to like this video if this helped you. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel. And more important than that, if you still are not sure about your JE, which is going to be held in seven days, eight days, then I think a good bet for you is to consider taking my course, which is in the description. And if you're in class 11, don't forget to sign up for the next course, which is a crash course for class 11th revision. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.